Hi and welcome to working animation created in Adobe Anime using the asset. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Adobe development environment and we'll put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Okay guys, I'm going to start by clicking on create and there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come straight here to the asset right here we have asset we have properties and library there so let's grab the asset there what I need is the background for now so let's grab the background inside the asset and let's just search for it and the background I'm looking for is the skyscraper there we go just type it in there and I'm going to grab this skyscraper just dump it here and there we go First thing first, let's reduce the size of this so that you guys can see the stage and everything there. I think that is good enough for me. I'm now going to just copy this skyscraper, Control D. There we go. Control D will actually make you a duplicate. Just drag it aside here. There. I want to select both and press Control G to group it. Okay, Control G. We actually put them together. That's it right there. Okay, it's now one whole animation. So let's come right here. You see this layer that is now required. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna come straight to. Let's go to about 500 here. The reason why I'm selecting 500 is because I want the animation to be a little bit slow, so that uh, it will look like the individual is actually working so i'm going to press f6 there and just drag this across just like that i'm not going to i'm going to make sure it doesn't cover all the stage so that is fine that's about that okay if you can see this black line that's the stage itself all right i'm going to right click and then create click on create 20 classic 20 and here is asking me to actually convert it so I'm going to say yes do you want to convert the frame to symbol yes I, I would like to click on ok there we go and that is it if I run it now it will look like the building is actually moving from right to the left okay you see that so now let's grab a humanoid or human being so I'm gonna create another layer for that meanwhile lock this layer up add another layer and uh, I'm gonna go straight to frame number one right here frame number one and let's search for human so I'm gonna get rid of this there we go guys I think I found it that is it right there. Grab the farmer, just drop it right there. There we go. All right. Okay, I will now position this very farmer. It looks a little bit too large there. So the height is about almost 500. Let's make the height here, the width is almost 500. So we can reduce that to about. Let's make that 400 and the height here. I'm going to make that about 580. Okay, bring him down a little bit. Yeah. And that is it. So that's fine. Now, the next thing we want to do with this very animation is let's go to the library here. Inside the library, that is the farmer animation. And here, that's for the skyscraper. So with the farmer animation, just double click on that. There, that brings you right in here. Let's reduce that. As you can see, you will notice each part is automatically selected. So let's deselect it. And you see that I can move each part apart. So let's group it back. So I'm going to select that very layer here so that I can select it all. Now, the next thing I want is you go back into the asset right here inside the asset. You need the riggings. So let's look for the rig right here. 
that is the read this is the very read that i'm looking for you see this one that say farmer work grab that and drop it right in there and that is it animation is completed all right the next thing is you see here where we have loop that is it right there click on the loop and just drag this across so that it will loop so the next thing now is i'm going to go back to my stage and there we go that's the stage so if i run my click on run and check this out guys that is the farmer now working and that is how you create your own working animation in adobe using the asset that comes with it so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial bye for now guys